welcome to the iCandy channel. In this episode, we're going to be showing how to use the gradient wipe transition to really create an effect of two situations blending in together. This has been called the Luma Fade effect, but the way I'm going to be using it is a little bit more like a Sherlock Holmes transitions. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it creates a very high kind of value to your production. It, it like me. It looks as though you've really sat there and, and picked out something from your frame and made it stay for a little bit longer than other things. Exactly what you saw just before this short intro. I'm in Premiere Pro which you see right now and we're going to zoom into the first clip here. In this short clip here you've got the groom walking and of course when the time to transition comes what we're doing here is we're using this transition to transition to wipe out all of the lighter parts of the video and keeping only the really dark parts of the frame. Now in this case the dark part of the frame happens to be our bride wearing all black. So let's have a look how we did this inside the effects control panel. First of all in your effects control panel you search for the gradient wipe effect. Now just be careful because there are two of them. One of them is a wipe transition, that's not the one we want for this specific case. The one we want is the transition under video effects and it's called gradient wipe. So what you need to do is actually move your footage upwards one and put the next clip that you want to come up underneath it about where you want the transition to start. So in my case with this groom walking I want to make sure that everything disappears apart from the blackest part. So all I need to do is start at 0%, create a keyframe around where you want this transition to start. So for example in my case it will be around here. So let's, let's just watch that. So in my case it's going to start around here, so I'll stop right there. At this point I'm going to create a new keyframe. I'm going to uh, go about, about 40 or 50 frames forward and then I'm going to select a keyframe and then I'm going to check to see how many, how much percent I have to use in order to remove everything but the groom. And that comes to about, let's say 65. And there, and now we have the groom literally just standing there with a little bit of bushes, which is also okay. And so then we want it to stay like that until the end, until the point where we want him to disappear, which is here. And we're gonna move, we're gonna create another keyframe there and then move two or three frames forward in which time we want him to disappear completely, which goes to 100%. So let's have a look how this looks. So we've got him walking, he stays, and then the bird flies, and then we have it all happening. Let's say uh, we wanted the opposite effect. Uh, if you wanted, to, basically, I've, I've clicked the invert gradient here. If I wouldn't have, you'll see that the opposite would have happened, meaning darker parts of the frame would have disappeared first, leaving only the brighter parts of the frame. But that's not the effect I wanted. I really wanted the uh, dark parts of the frame to stay. So definitely play around with this invert gradient to see which effect works better for your transition. And I did a few other little experiments with this to see, and it really is a pleasure to watch this kind of uh, footage where things are really happening seamlessly and uh, it's quite pleasurable to see things appear in a, in a way where they're like just randomly appearing and they're just surprising you. It gives you a really good feeling. If you enjoyed this video and you think it's going to help you in any way, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to never miss these amazing tools that will help your filmmaking go up another level. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.